even if you were to only learn the Bitcoin parts about Lightning, you'd have this huge amount of literature that, that you'd have to read through and, and you'd still only know about Bitcoin. And then on top of that, you have you have the Lightning Network and, and the new concepts, like, right? We have our own nomenclature, we have channels, we have liquidity, we have balancing and uh, routing and gossip and all of that stuff. And it's not easy. Um, it's definitely not easy, especially especially if you're completely new to this uh, to this world of, of cryptocurrencies and haven't uh, haven't had Bitcoin before. One of the ways we can make it easier is to build services that uh, that take on some of the responsibilities of running a Lightning node on behalf of the user, and. Now that sounds very much like a custodial wallet, um, but as we a Bitcoin community have learned, custodial wallets bad. Uh, so I posed myself the challenge of of basically seeing, hey, is there a way where I can uh, where I can take a Lightning node, take on all of the management responsibilities, but still have the user control its own keys? Because as the saying goes. Uh, not your keys, not your coins, right? Out of that idea came uh, came sort of what Greenlight became, and that's basically uh, we have a service called Greenlight, where uh, you can uh, register a Lightning node, and we will basically. Uh, create all of the database, we will create a watchtower, we will create a, uh, the compute, uh, compute node on which the node is running. And um, all you need to do is basically have an app on your phone or your desktop or whatever. And that then controls the remote Lightning node. Um, the fun part is that the Lightning node does not have its own keys. Uh, the keys are always in the uh, in the app that the user is running, and whenever the Lightning node requires a signature from the keys, it will reach out to the to the user, ask, "Hey, uh, I got this command. Uh, I'm supposed to pay this. Uh, here is what I would change. Uh, what that this would look like on the channels that I control. Are you okay with me doing this? And if yes, please give me a signature for it." If you look at it very closely, it, it is very close to what, uh, what most of the hardware wallets are doing, right? If you have a hardware wallet back home, uh, you have control over your keys. Uh, but where is the Bitcoin node that is used to talk to the rest of the Bitcoin network? It's probably run by Trezor or Ledger. Um, and so they feed you the information about the Bitcoin network and you basically get to sign off on all actions that happen with your funds. I want to basically pull forward uh, the good experience uh, such that they afterwards are uh, incentivized to learn about this stuff instead of what happens now where you get this 1000 page tome and you're getting told by, by everybody, hey, you have to read it and learn it by heart before you do your first payment. <laughs> and we basically flip that on the head by saying, hey, uh, it's okay, we take care of all of the hard parts for now. You go and have a good time with, with Lightning and, and see how useful it can be. And only once, you, uh, once you're convinced that this is something that, uh, that you want and that is useful for you, only then you have to do the investment and, and uh, only if, if you really want to take on responsibility of your own uh, nodes. So we call that uh, onboarding, educating, offboarding, because our end goal for Greenlight is to have no users. Um, we, want, we want to give you a good experience in the beginning, but we also want to incentivize you to learn and take, take charge of your own nodes and for that, we give you all of the tools to basically run your own green light at home uh, using Core Lightning, which is what you get with green light.